Now the phase shift keying is a little bit more difficult to uh, try to explain. So um, let's take a look here. When we see that we're uh, communicating on our frequency here with no change, in other words, it looks like the same frequency as we're measuring it, that would be a zero. But then when the transmitter says, hey, I want you to know that I'm sending a, a, a one now, at that point, we'll change the uh, phase of that signal. In other words, you notice that it was started coming up and we would have expected it to continue to go up, but it didn't. Instead, we've changed the phase of that. How much we change the phase can help be an indication of whether we're sending a one or a zero, uh, as you'll see with some other methods. But just the fact that the phase changed means that we are sending a one. And then when the phase is not changing anymore, now we're back at a zero, we're back at a zero, uh, then I change the phase right here to uh, get back into uh, saying, hey, once you see that change, then I'm transmitting a one. If you don't see any changes in the phase, then I'm transmitting zeros.